This is an example of an English paragraph. First, we consider its format. We notice that on the first line, there is a space. This is the indentation. We must indent. Without reading the content of the paragraph, we understand that all this text is about one idea. If we see another text and we see uh, two parts or three parts which contain indentations, we automatically understand that there are two points or three points according to the number of indentations. This is about the format. Now we look at the content. Uh, we see a title. A paragraph normally should have a title. And the sentences that constitute the paragraph have different roles. The first type of sentence, which is usually the first sentence, is the topic sentence. It comes at the beginning. It announces the controlling idea of the paragraph. The main idea. The topic sentence is followed by a group of other sentences. The, their function is to support the topic sentence, to develop it. This group of sentences are of two sorts. We have the major support sentences and the minor support sentences. The major support sentences develop the main idea directly and they can be sequenced. The minor support sentences develop the major support sentences. The ideas which appear in the major support sentences and they help them to develop the main idea. It is necessary to have a sufficient number of major support sentences. For example, we cannot have a paragraph with a topic sentence plus one major support sentence. This is not enough. Then, the minor support sentences can be found in a paragraph but in some paragraphs, they are not found. So it's not necessary to have them. This depends on how much you want to write about each sub-idea. The last type of sentence is called the concluding sentence. And usually this comes at the very end. It is a kind of repeating the controlling idea in different words to emphasize it. This is called the concluding sentence sentence. The features of a good English paragraph are three, unity, coherence and development. If one of them is uh, violated or it doesn't exist in a paragraph, it, can, it cannot be considered as a good English paragraph. Firstly, unity it means that all the sentences develop one idea. There is no irrelevant idea. If you have an irrelevant idea, we judge that your paragraph is not unified. Then the second feature is coherence. This means that the ideas, all the ideas are smoothly connected. Logical order or transitions are used to make the paragraph coherent. The development means that the controlling idea is well developed. Here we have enough details. Sometimes students write a topic sentence, an excellent topic sentence, but when it comes to writing the details, they fail to develop it. For instance, one topic sentence with two development sentences or support sentences, this is not enough. So a paragraph should be well developed. It should contain uh, a sufficient amount of details about uh, the main idea.